our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the problem. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Sean Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Well, for all the places we go in the world, few can hold up to this one. Good evening from T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas. Nevada opened April of 2016. UFC went there for the first time at UFC 200, and they've been bringing big shows. Seemingly a double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the screen. He's going for the leg. Might be a submission opportunity here. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. These guys are back and forth in submission defense wins this transition. Nice up with Dustin. He threw that one with all of his power. Another good stick to the head. Checks the leg kick. Big roundhouse now, just misses. It's a pretty good jab. Edge of her seat action as expected thus far. What a fight, my goodness, what a fight. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Miss with that jab attempt there. Oh, solid kicks are landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? He gets in a single collar tie. Look for him to wear on his opponent by pulling the head down and punching with the free hand. Lands to the body. Beautiful strike. Oh, big elbow. Oh, nice body shot. Both guys appeared to land there. Push your time. Take your time. Now counters with a hook to the body. Strong work on the feet by Bree. Nice. All right, single collar tie now. And now some distance as they pull apart. And that one certainly found the target. Whiffs on that offering. He lands another punch to the head. Checks the leg kick. Go back up. Push forward. Big straight left. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, nice elbow. Great job setting up that high kick. Oh, nice double leg, yes. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slip through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Big ground and pop. Rick House Brady's looking for that arm triangle now. This arm triangle's looking pretty tight. He's got it locked in. He's got to clear the guard, drop his chest, and get the finish. Oh, great submission defense. Fighters back to their feet here. Man, submission defense is a powerful thing. Oh! Blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his body, his face, his body. He lands a double leg takedown. Oh, that's gotta be it. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy 
guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get sunk. Jockeying for position in the clinch. Both fighters here trying to get a more dominant position. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch to the hips, and boom, inside leg kick land. Brady's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot, got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good as he walks back to the corner. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. Ready. If he gets hit with another Ready. one of those, it Go. might be good night, Irene. All right, round two. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. It's a nice jab by him there. He lands another head kick. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this match. Oh, he's got a guillotine here. Oh, he's separates from the clinch. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. He didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Gotta be careful here. Well, not exactly what we thought we would see out of this jiu-jitsu fighter. He's had a lot of success on the feet, and I think this is why sometimes the film can lie if you lean too heavily in it. Absolutely. I mean, you think you're coming in here to fight a grappler, and this guy looks like a boxer tonight. His hands have looked crispy. His kicks, everything that he is doing has worked, and I think this is partly due to the fact that you think he's trying to take you down, when in reality, this guy can fight everywhere. Well, the octagon, not a great place to be when you're... Oh! Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Under three minutes now to go in the round. And there it is again, targeting that swelling. Why would you not, right? You doled out all this damage. Might as, go, might as well go right back to it. Well, especially if your opponent is not going to move his head. He's still trying to go out on his shield. He's, he's so stubborn in trying to prove that he's tough. It's really costing him right now. Well, a really good second round for him. There it is again. level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Brady. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Takedown defense holds up. Front kick by Sean Brady. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving. Oh! <laughs> Brady's got his head looking for a guillotine. Oh, oh. That guillotine is tight. Oh, man, that was slick. And he's back up. 
up again. So the takedowns have been there as have the get-ups. Right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a fight. Oh, another ground strike gets through. He's having his way with him here. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. He cut him. He cut him. So many ground strikes landed that eventually he got him cut. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. And blocks that hard punch. He's cut. Give me Ten seconds to go in the round. Brady's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he Ready wants to get the desired finish. Ready. Crowd fired up, so are we third and final round. This crowd is going sick after what they saw in that previous round. Truly an all-out brawl. Several moments on both sides, and the fight is still going on. Incredible. Great moments by both of these fighters. Let's see who can continue down the path. Kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We sent it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 26 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the problem. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you